Hey what's up guys, I'm Chicks and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing another brand new powerful Android smartwatch. So this is the Z-Blaze Thor smartwatch. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So this watch has a 1.4 inch Super AMOLED screen with Gorilla Glass 3. The resolution is 400 by 400 with 326 ppi pixels. The CPU is a MTK6580 quad core running at 1.3 GHz. You got 1 GB of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, a 2 megapixel camera, Bluetooth version 4, GPS, Wi-Fi BGN, you got a 3G nano SIM card slot, Android version 5.1, you got a built-in heart rate monitor and a pedometer. So this is everything you get in the box. You got a user manual, a micro USB charging cable. This round plate here is the charging plate and I'll show you that working in a bit. You got a screwdriver included so you can open up the SIM card tray. But before I show you the watch, I just want to show you the packaging. The packaging is superb. The gift box looks so nice. And if you were to give this as a gift to someone, I'm sure they'll be really happy. I love the packaging. And this material is like a like a suede material inside so it's a really jewelry box feel they've got to this very nice the watch itself the z blaze thor here it is so this this watch is uh, very stylish so the strap on the inside you've got black and red and the watch itself sim card tray charger pins and over here is the heart rate monitor which is awesome Here's your SIM card tray for your nano SIM cards. The straps are made of silicon, black and red, and you've got the double fastener there. This will fit on any wrist. This goes uh, really small. That is tiny. Okay, so this will fit adults and children easily. You've got a screen protector already applied. All you've got to do is remove the second layer, which I'm about to do. So the screen protector's on there. That's the second layer. Um, you're all set and ready to go. So on the actual watch, you've got a speaker on the side. And on the right hand side, you have a 2 megapixel camera and a power button. So I'm going to quickly show you how to use the charging plate. Get your micro USB cable and plug it in. Okay, now you've got this charging dock. It basically just clips on the back of the watch. That's it. And as you can see, the watch is charging. Another way of doing it is... If you haven't got a watch stand, that's it. You can leave it in the case and that's charging right now nicely. So that's how you charge the watch. This is the default watch face. If you want to change the default watch face, you keep the center press for two, three seconds and you've got all of these different watch faces that you can choose from. So if I start from the start, you can see there are so many different ones you can choose from. I'll just open one of them just to show you what it looks like. Keep the center pressed and choose a watch face. There's so many awesome looking watch faces. Uh, you're spoiled for choice. Uh, these are all totally different to anything I've seen on other smartwatches. Uh, you can press the plus sign and you can download some unique brand new ones here. And again, there's just so many to choose from. Let's go through all the menus and options. If you scroll to your left, you've got your notifications. If you scroll to the right, you've got your system menu. So this is what the system menu contains. You've got contacts, you click on phone, and you'll, you'll have a dialer there, which is quite accurate. Um, let's go back, messaging. That's gonna be all your text messages, and you can write a new message as well if you like. Let's go back. You've got settings here, sound, display, app style, connect, mobile, gesture, power saving. Okay, so these are all the settings you have. Um, connect, you can connect here with your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot, GPS. So this is really a full Android system on a watch. So you have everything that you would expect from an Android system. You've got extras as well, remote capture, web browser, calendar, clock, camera. And let's have a quick look at the camera. So the camera is right there. So if I capture something, if I just take a picture of this box. Um, you can also go to gallery and you can view the, you can view the photo on the full screen and you can zoom in, etc. 
This has got 16 gigs of internal storage, so you're free to load it up with a lot of music. I haven't put any music on there, so there won't be any music there. But if you did, you would have access to it. Let's go back. Remote music. That's basically a remote control, so you can play your music on your iPhone. You've got sound recorder. So right now, we'll just test it out. So we are currently recording sound, and we're going to see how it, how it works. Done. You can save it or discard it. So let's save it and then listen to it. Recording list, here it is. Okay. So we are currently recording sound and we're going to see how it, how it works. Okay, so as you saw it works great. You've got file manager. Tells you how much storage you've got available. And if you scroll down you've got a full version file manager there. You've got find me, health, click on health. And you can do your heart rate or pedometer. If I click on heart rate and let it test it for a bit. It took about a minute to find a reading, but that's normal. Okay, so next, you got weather, voice search. You got the Google Play Store here. As you can see, here it is. This is actually the full Google Play Store, so you can download um, any app you like from here. Now, the thing I like to mention is you can see the aspect ratio is square, so you can pretty much read everything. If you wanted to change that to full screen, you click this. You hit the top part where it says full, press the button again, and now you'll see it at full screen. Yeah, it does chop up the corners. At least you have the two ways that you can view this. So if you didn't like this view, you can keep that pressed, change to full, and there you go, you've got the square aspect ratio. So yeah, I've installed a few apps and it does install perfect. Let's come out of the Play Store. You've got Google Maps here. I've installed YouTube and Crossy Road on this so far. So let's open up YouTube and let's play a video. So I'll just play one of my own. Okay, the sound is actually quite loud. So open up Crossy Road, let's try this game out. So there you go, as you can see, Crossy Road works great. So there you have it guys, that was the Seablaze Thor smartwatch. A very good looking smartwatch which has everything you would expect to find in a smartphone, including a nano SIM card slot. Having used it for a few days now, I can say that this is a very good smartwatch with a lot of great functions. The screen is nice and bright and you're able to see very clearly when you're out and about. If you use this as a full featured smartphone and you leave Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, everything on, then yes, you will not make it through the day and you'll be looking for the charger. If you keep in mind that this is ultimately a watch with special capabilities, then you can make the battery last more than a day. So when I use this watch with a SIM card as a standalone smartphone, with brightness on medium and Bluetooth off, this easily lasted me the whole day and in the evening I still had 5 or 6% battery left. I also tried using this as just a watch to see what happens. I switched off Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi and I had no SIM card in the tray and it lasted over two days without needing a charge. I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out and if you like it you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.